So we are talking about recycling as a business opportunity. So for many years, Nigeria, the Nigerian economy has mainly been focused on oil. I think about 90% of our foreign, you know, our earnings is from the oil sector. But there is so much that potential in recycling and waste management. And unfortunately, there is a little bit of a stereotype in, um, in our culture around waste. For example, many people ask me, why are you doing waste? Why you know you worked in uh, IBM? Why are you doing you know packing debt? You know some people even approach my employees and call them pole pole. You know but if what is if you don't pack the waste, people are gonna get sick. You know it's one of the most important things you can ever do in society. So it's very important for people to value waste. I think it was uh, Otuba Gaddafi that said, "Cheap business, cheap <laughs> business." So it's a good business. You know but like any business, there's um, challenges and it's very important to go into it in a very structured way. So I'm going to just share a little bit about the business potential, talk about my company and then tell you some ideas that I've seen that people can go into in the waste sector. So, so I'm going to start with Lagos. Lagos, we have about 20 million people that live here and every day we generate 10,000 tons of waste. I think it's about 10 or 12,000 tons. And if you look at only the plastic and the metal that we generate in Lagos, and you multiply that by the number of days, it's going to add up to 730,000 tons. You know, that's a lot of trash that we generate. And at the same time, there are so many recyclers that recycle. In fact, I met one recycler today. You know, so let's give you a round of applause. We have a recycler here in the house. And there are so many recyclers that work here in Nigeria, you know, and they, they have good businesses. One of their biggest problems is getting a reliable supply of waste. You know, I was talking to one large recycler and he said uh, about 50% of his capacity, it's difficult for him to get more than that because they don't have a reliable supplier. So we, we, when we were doing our research, we saw that there was a demand and there was a big opportunity in collecting trash. So the possibilities. Yeah, to the next slide. So in Lagos, we segmented the waste stream. So we said, okay, look at plastic, look at metal. And we saw that you know, limited recycling is going on. And a large quantity of the waste that we are having, that we're generating in Lagos, ends up in landfills, you know, like what we have in the Rishos, or in the dump sites. You know, but thankfully, the Lagos State Government has been really pushing and working on this. Uh, recently, the governor just commissioned a large recycling sorting facility, which basically uh, takes trash from the trucks. It does sorting and bailing for sale to recyclers. So we are seeing a lot of activity going on, but still there is a lot to be done. And then we looked at the different kinds of trash that I mentioned earlier, and we said, okay, multiply that conservatively by the market value of each kind of trash. And what we found was that for the plastic bottles that we all generate in Lagos, all the you know, coke, water, and drink, if you collect everything, it's about unprocessed, so just collect this packets, put it inside the lion. It's 2.8 billion naira. Yeah. But, yeah. Then if you decide to process it, all, you know, and say, okay, I'm going to bail it, I'm going to shred it, that's 4.6 billion. Then pure water. That we all drink, I mean, I drink pure water, I'm not going to pump. I drink pure water, so I just want to drink pure water. So, if you pack all the sachets, because pure water sachets, there's a lot. Pure water and other plastics. So there's seven different kinds of plastics. And if you calculate all of that, multiply that weight by conservative estimate of the you know, price that people will buy.